Pastor Grill is really a piece of paradise, but don't tell anyone. If you've been there, you probably stop for a snack or souvenir at the Paradise Grill. Now, the owners of Paradise Suites recently learned that the city of St. Pete Beach is not renewing their lease. And Alex, this has a lot of beachgoers pretty upset. Yeah, naturally, the owners have been talking about the pending closure on Facebook, prompting a lot of you to express your disgust. Uh, the owners say they will close the Paradise Grill at the end of May. They say the city picked the city manager's first choice, United Park Services, to operate that space and thanked customers for all of their support over the years. David says the city effectively commercialized one of the last remaining old Florida beaches. Unreal. Sandy writes, politicians trying to fix something that was not broken. Ugh, thanks for the great meals and the wonderful memories. And Cynthia says, one thing I love about that area was that they did not want any corporate or big chain places. I love going there because of the small little family owned places. I hope it doesn't change too much. United Park Services manages other facilities at beaches in the Bay Area. Well, tonight, St. Pete City leaders want Paradise Grill fans to rest assured while the name and ownership might change, the same great concession stand will still operate on the beach. Ted News reporter Bo Zimmer explains why the city is making the change. It's a postcard perfect day here on Paso Grill, and no matter who you ask, it seems everyone loves the main beachside concession stand, Paradise Grill. I like the easy access. I like that the place is right here on the beach. The, the food is great. The drinks are unbelievable. The ambiance, the people are friendly. It's really just a good place to chill out, get a break from all the heat and everything. But many regulars disappointed when they read the news on Facebook, the beach bar and restaurant would be closing. Sad and disappointed, disappointed. And I hope it doesn't happen because it's what makes this area special. City leaders making the change, citing a complicated lease agreement with the current owners that needed to be revamped. As part of the process, the city was required to put the new contract opportunity out for bid. Five different proposals sent to city council for consideration. Ultimately, the current owners were in the top three, but beat out by Tampa-based United Park Services, a company that specializes in running public concession stands, including the ones at Fort DeSoto and Madeira Beach City Park. Yeah, I didn't care for it at first until I heard that somebody else may take it over. I don't want it to disappear. The change, which includes a second Paradise Grill location on Upham Beach, will take place at the end of May. The St. Pete Beach Mayor says the new owners will run a mobile food service on the beach while the Passa Grill location is renovated by the city to make room for larger restrooms. The mayor says while there will be a few other changes, the new place should be fairly similar to what Passa Grill visitors have come to love and enjoy. In St. Pete Beach, Bo Zimmer, 10 News. Now the lease agreement is for five years and the city says the new owners are planning an expanded menu with healthier options.